Hi guys, just wanted to check in with you on the session four of the beginner's meditation. Hopefully you have all had an opportunity to try it out. And I really just wanted to say a few words on the bumblebee breath, that part of the meditation practice. And I, I really wanted to just encourage you to, to try it for one and to get louder actually when you're moving more and more into it, the more and more bumblebee breaths you take. Um, and I know it's difficult sometimes we have to try and get over that whole self-consciousness thing about us, you know, humming in a room on our own. But honestly, it is really beneficial and uh, it is something that can relieve anxiety as well. And if you do have kids who are feeling a little bit anxious at night, it's the perfect time to do it and you can make it, make it fun with them too. Uh, so please give it a go and think about getting louder as you progress in the breath. And if you want to get a deeper meditation or you know a longer practice, don't be afraid to pr press the pause button on the recording and do some more bumblebee breaths for that phase. And I really want you to think uh, just from time to time when you're in the practice of um, your posture, your alignment, because we're there for 17 minutes. I apologize for that, I thought it was only 10, but in fact it's 17. So you are going to start, you know, it's only natural that we all start, to, gravity takes, you know, its course and, and we all start to stoop. So, you know, from time to time, think about lifting the collarbones again, drawing the shoulder blades down the back and pressing the sit bones into the seat, pressing your feet into the ground and, you know, have your hands just resting on your thighs. But it just, it keeps you aware of your body and aware of, of your alignment. And also with that lift in your collarbones, you're putting that spine into a nice natural alignment that allows you to breathe more efficiently, more smoothly. So I encourage you just, you know, to just from time to time to check in with how you're sitting. And also that whole vibration of the hum, think about it generating from your sit bones, moving through your pelvis, up into your low belly, upper belly, chest, upper chest, up into your throat, into your head and out through your mouth. And really what we're doing there is we're building more of a connection with our body because we have got so disconnected today, the way we live, um, we're just so disconnected from our body. So it will actually help you feel a connection there. And the hum sounds very like om, and if you're familiar with yoga and you, you go to, to maybe a yoga class, you may um, sometimes see uh, in a practice people chanting Aum before and after a yoga practice. And Aum is that sound that is the same vibration as the earth, as nature, the universe. So when we are humming, we are we are creating that vibration where we're connected to the to the earth to the universe and it helps you feel more connected to the earth to nature to yourself so please please give it a go and try and forget about the old self-consciousness and uh, enjoy it and I hope you enjoy this session and I hope you get a lot out of it and I hope to um, to check in with you again for session five um, and I hope you're sticking at it and, th and thanks for sticking at it okay and take care and I'll speak to you soon